Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be speaking on the top certifications to get if you're interested in cloud computing and the cloud, Azure, GCP, AWS, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are new to the channel, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share. And before we get into this, I myself have a few certifications from the cloud, so I'm speaking from experience. And here is the number one, the AWS Certified SysOps. I got this certification back in 2018, and I got another AWS one, the Solutions Architect, this one. Um, and that one was back in 2018 as well, one in May and one in November. And from those certifications, this is, you know, five years later, obviously things may have changed, but I think that was super critical to understand about the cloud, right? So if you may ask, maybe you're asking yourself, will cloud certifications help me get a job? Is it relevant to today? And all that good stuff that you may ask yourself. Absolutely. You know, the industry, you know, cloud, the pen testing, security, you know, every single industry, even DevOps, SecOps, everything is using the cloud, right? So you should definitely get trained in Azure, GCP, or AWS, right? I do have some Azure stuff too, but I haven't printed them out. But um, average, you know, and we can go through this. We're gonna jump on my desktop shortly, but averagely, on an average, a cloud engineer can make between $130,000 to $150,000, right? So that's if you're doing cloud engineering. I'm not a cloud engineer anymore. I was several years ago, but I'm not anymore. But, and this is, like I said, AWS, GCP, Azure. So my number one that I put on my list was the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate. I have that one. I put that one in number one just because I got it. And I think this helps you demonstrate, you know, how to deploy, how to manage, how to operate payloads in the cloud, all the AWS technologies it's super critical, right? Like I said, I don't work with this every day, but I think this one is super critical if you're trying to get into the cloud. And the exam cost is about 150 bucks, right? So, and I, if I remember correctly, don't quote me, I just have the names of the certifications that I have and the ones that I recommend, but I think it's 150 bucks. Obviously we can jump on and Google that shortly. And the next one obviously is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. It's another exam from AWS. And, you know, obviously here, you know, you're going to get well architected frameworks, networking, security services, AWS global infrastructure. This will, you know, get you well rounded in the AWS space, right? So obviously that's another good certification to get. And the cost of that exam is about 150 bucks. Okay. The next one. I wrote down here is the AWS certified developer. If you want to get more into development, that's another one that you can do, you can get into and so on and so forth. Okay. And let's continue going down. And that's a, that's 150 bucks too. I forgot to say it. So now let's jump into the Google world, right? They have Google certified professional GCP cloud architect, right? So with this certification, this will prove your skills that you understand GCP or Google Cloud Platform and their technologies. You will be able to design, develop, and manage security, you know, the dynamic solution that drives the objective of the Google solution, right? So, you know, that's about 200 bucks and you have two hours to complete that. And it's about 50 to 60 questions. I have never taken any Google certifications due to, I don't really need to, uh, I'm not working with Google, Google's platform, All right? The next one here is GCP data engineer, right? And that's 120 bucks. And now let's get into the Microsoft world. This is probably the most popular exam for beginners, you know? Microsoft certified, so you, you get your Microsoft certified Microsoft Azure fundamentals, right? So this exam is 
very, very simple. It's a hundred bucks and you, you'll learn how to, <coughs> excuse me. You know, this one is pretty much to, to learn about the experience of the IT areas like infrastructure management, database management, software development, and obtaining this certification, you know what you'll be able to do? You'll be able to understand, understand and describe uh, cloud concepts, Azure architects and services, and you know understand the Azure government and, and, and management of that. And that's about an hour and it's about 32 questions to 42 questions, okay? And the next one, this is the one I have actually, but I, take, I've, I, take, I took this a few years back, many years back actually. It was, it's the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. I, it was hard, you know, it, as you guys know, I, I'm, I was really, really big into Microsoft and, you know, you know, I did all my MCSEs, MCITPs, you know, MCSAs and all that good stuff. But now I'm not working in that world anymore. But I think it's super critical to get, right? And it's about $165 for that. And it's two hours. And it's about 40, 40, uh, 46 to 60 questions. All right. And then what you'll learn on that is, you know, understand uh, managing the aspect, the aspects of IT operations, including network and virtualization, identity, security, BC, which is business continuity, disaster recovery, data platforms, and governance. All right, so and much more, but I, you know, this is just what I have here. And the next one here is the Azure Administrator Associate. Right, you can also do this one as well, and this will get you familiar with the operating systems, networking, servers, virtualization, and tools like PowerShell, Azure CLI, and the Azure portal, which you guys are probably all working in today if you work in portal.azure.com, right? So AD and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, Active Directory, Azure AD, or Intro, whatever it is now. All right, so your school, uh, your schools, your skills, obviously managing and, uh, managing and identifying governance, right? Implementing and managing storage, and then deploying and managing Azure compute resources. That's super critical, right? Implementing and manage virtual networks and virtual machines, and then monitoring and maintaining those resources, right? So that's about 40 to 60 questions, and that's $165, okay? And the last exam I have here is obviously I have to throw a comp tier one in here is the cloud plus. That's an, that's a good one to know and to get under your belt. Right. And I do have a few extras. Let me see if, where's my, uh, notepad. All right. So let me share my screen. Let's jump on here and then I'll show you. All right. So as you guys can see, obviously, Cloud Plus. So these are some of the ones that I was reading off. GCP, you know, I have GCP, but I mean, I had it uh, up in... Actually, let me just put it here. I'm just going to put GCP, right? And then these are the ones I was just talking about. The Azure Fundamentals, Azure... Oh, yeah. Also, Azure Security Technology. I don't think I talked about that. And then designing uh, Microsoft Azure infrastructure. And what I was showcasing was right here. So in here, I can, you know, this is the top 10 certifications for 2024 and beyond. I guess I just wanted to, you know, you can see my face. It's a little better. And then obviously, this is what I was uh, reading on. Let's make this a little bigger. And I can share this in the description or, yeah, in the description, not in the comments, the description. And these are the top um, cloud computing certifications. And I just went, you know, went through this. And if you have any questions about these certifications, obviously do some research. If I can help you out, I'm more than happy to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I think these are definitely some good certifications to get if you're looking to get more into cloud. And oh, also, this is a good one too. I didn't even mention this. This sort of, I think I had it on my, uh, on my list, but I didn't mention it. 
certified cloud uh, security professional. This is from ISC Square. This is definitely a good one. I don't have this. I have SSCP. Um, I don't have CCSP. But this is another good one. Obviously, it's a little more hefty. It's about 600 bucks. Three hours, 100, 150 questions. And whenever you get to these, you can just click on the links and learn about them. So this is the SSCP, right? Or CCSP. And then let's come up. For example, the Azure one right here. We can go ahead and click that. And you can learn all about the associate level of, of Azure certifications, right? And a lot of stuff you can probably get online for relatively cheap, or you can just go to YouTube and see if there's anyone doing any training on these topics, right? So, and this is literally what I was doing. I was reading off when I was um, a few minutes ago. Sorry, I just, and then this is the solution architect. And, you know, compute, network, storage, monitoring, security, developers. This is for developers, excuse me, administrators, uh, security engineers, data engineers, etc. And obviously, you know, it shows you what certifications to, to take in order to uh, get that. And, you know, so on and so forth. Just go ahead and just go through it and just uh, search and see which one is good for you. Obviously, every single... Every single person has their own destiny. And I think this is a good start if you wanted to get into cloud computing and some certifications that you can get under your belt in order to jump into the field of the cloud. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. I really appreciate you checking it out. And if you guys are participating in the advert of Cyber from Try Hack Me, kudos. Let's keep having fun. I'm having fun every single day. I think we're on day, what, 10? Today's the 10th, so yeah. And... uh Fun fact, I was pissed off this morning when I was actually making that video because I didn't hit record when I was doing the box or doing the room. Literally, I went to hit on my stream deck. I went to hit stop. I'm like, oh shit, it's recording now. So I was talking to 25 minutes to myself and I wasn't recording. Hopefully I don't do that again. It'll probably happen again, whatever. It is what it is. But if you guys are enjoying that, you know, keep going. We have, what, 14 more days, two more weeks. Enjoy it and uh, see you guys in day 11 if you're there and I'll see you in the next video if not. Take care.